Welcome back to the shop guys. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company. This week we're gonna do something I really couldn't find on YouTube is sharpen lawnmower blades. Why do we do it? Because we beat up our lawnmowers. They hit rocks, they hit branches. You, you've all been there, you're like, <laughs> it kicks back on you. Um, and so why we're gonna do this is, and you should do this about twice a year. So when the lawnmower blade's dull, what it does is it basically bruises the grass. So it's just like you're cutting a tomato. If you don't have a sharp knife, you'll bruise the, bruise the tomato and it'll start wilting out. So if it's not sharp, it'll turn brown. The tips will turn brown. And if you want a really green lawn, you want a nice sharp lawnmower and it'll be a nice clean cut. So we're gonna do that. My brother actually left his blades over here in his lawnmower bottom. So we're gonna show you how to take these off and then we're going to paint the inside of this and we're gonna paint these black and we're gonna take a grinder and clean them up, maybe a file. So I think we should get right to it. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company. Let's build something. Ta-da! All right, let's get right into it. A little WD-40 and a crescent wrench with the pry bar on it. Not gonna cut it. Doesn't have the biting strength. So I've got this 15 16 socket with the leverage bar and that's just going to take it up nice and easy. Now I'm going to take a, a grinder sanding blade and grind off the inside of this. I started doing this inside the shop, but it was way too dusty, so I had to pull it to the outside of the shop. Once we get out there, I'm just going to grind off all the dust and dirt and rusted metal just to make a nice surface to paint on. You can see this week I'm wearing my knee pads versus last week at the Arbor. I wasn't wearing them and they make a huge difference. Now that I've got something down to protect the concrete I'm going to spray paint this. I picked a red to match and give it a good shake and then just spray paint the heck out of it. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, this is a great time to like, subscribe, and share. So here we have a close-up of the blades. Man, they are beat up. Now this is a tempered folded steel, so it's going to take a bit to grind it. Now make sure you grind at the angle. It's about 22 and a half degrees. And go slow. Make sure to use the kind of grinding blade and also make sure to wear safety glasses. Now you can see here this is sharp enough to cut paper.
Now you can see here as I'm grinding, it's hot. And you can see the sweat dripping off my nose. Some of these chips are so deep that you really got to grind the heck out of it. But we want to get all the way down to it and then back grind it so it's nice and straight. So now I'm going to switch to the metal sanding disc and just clean up these blades so that I can paint them black so they look brand new. Like my pops always used to say, if you take pride in the things that you own, they will last a lot longer and your grass will really love you. I'm going to tape the blades up so when I paint them black you'll have that nice crisp shiny edge. I'm going to spray paint the actual blades black and then just do a little more touch up on the uh, underside with the red paint. Now, this might seem like okra kill, but it's also going to serve a major function because there's an air valve and also a water valve to clean this. So this is going to give a smooth surface to clean the blades and the undercarriage of the mower. Now that everything's dried, I'm going to pull off the tape and go ahead and reattach these and just tighten them down. And then we are good to go. I'm going to use the same wedge block to put these back on as I did take them off. All right, we did it. My brother's gonna be stoked about it. You don't necessarily need to paint all that underneath there. This certain mower has an attachment where you can plug a hose into one side and it cleans the inside and the blade. So having that a smooth surface will help keep that clean. Now getting that nut off was kind of a pain. I actually had to buy a 15, 16 socket, which made it a lot easier. My first attempt was just a crescent wrench with a cut off handle on it so I could get more leverage but this didn't have the tensile strength or the biting strength to get the nut off. So as for grinding, get a grinding wheel. Do not use a cutting wheel. If you've ever watched that movie, uh, Hot Rod, 
and you know he's in the garage and he has a piece of grinder in his head if you try to use this as a grinder the cutting wheel it'll break and it'll stab you in the eye so notice i was wearing my safety glasses when i was grinding but get a grinding wheel to help out a lot i hope you guys enjoyed this you know check out the store right here uh ericksondesigncompany.com merch on streamlabs get yourself a hat a t-shirt support the channel i hope you guys enjoyed like subscribe share this video i'm stoner erickson from erickson design company and we fixed something Ta-da! Hey y'all, it's me, Johnny Austin, brother of Mr. Stoner Erickson of Erickson Design Company. I just want to do a real quick thank you to my brother for taking my blade box, which looked like this when I took it off, and I cleaned it up a little bit, but that was 10 pounds of grass and 10 years of cutting grass without being clean. I scraped it down to this, which looked all right, and I thought it was good, but as I looked at the blades, I realized those needs to be sharpened. So I literally rolled up on my brother's house Memorial Day morning and was like hey man can I just drop this off and uh, you make it look better and he said sure I'll do it I'll make a video and you will thank me at the end no he didn't say thank me at the end but I'm doing that now and he made it look like this just gorgeous well I installed it put it back on I cut the lawn intending to show you how dirty it got and how I would clean it with the water splaying through the hose and the blades running and when I looked underneath it, it was as clean as when I put it back on after mowing. So that slick paint job just basically made it look perfect. So you know what it looks like, but I just want to say thank you, Mr. Erickson and Erickson Design Company for kicking trace. Cheers.